Martin Luther's words would resonate well with us at this point in time. I could. Even if I knew that tomorrow the world would go into pieces, I would still plant my apple today. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mr. Itito, a teacher of agriculture. My aim is to develop an understanding of agriculture and its importance to the family and the nation. We shall discuss on three topics, farm structures, subtopic, dead fences. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, explain the meaning of the term dead fence. Number two, state the types of dead fences. And number three, identify the types of dead fences. Welcome to the lesson. In part one of fences, we mentioned that fences are divided into two categories, namely life fences and dead fences. We also discussed the uses of fences, their advantages and disadvantages. In today's lesson, we shall discuss dead fences. And the first question that we shall ask ourselves is this. What are dead fences? We define dead fences as fences that are made of materials like offcuts, timber, stones, wire mesh, etc. Dead fences are divided into four. Number one, wire fences. There are several types of wire fences which include barbed wire fences, plain wire fences, chain link fences, and chicken wire fences. Number two, electric fences. Number three, wooden fences, which are divided into two, timber fences and off-cut fences. Number four, wall fences, which include quarry chip fences, concrete block fences, brick fences, and stone fences. I will display fences W, X, Y, and Z. Study them carefully. And on a piece of paper, write the names of those fences. Fence W, Fence X, Fence Y, and Fence Z. I believe that you have already written the answers and as we identify the fences together, I would like you to mark your work. All right. The fences that you have observed are wire fences. The first wire fence W is a barbed wire fence. A barbed wire is a wire or strands of wires having small pieces of sharp points or barb. The second wire fence X is a chain link fence. A chain link is made of a heavy steel wire woven to form a diamond shaped mesh. The third wire fence Y is a plain wire fence. A plain wire is a wire that has no barbs. The fourth wire fence, Z, is a chicken wire fence. A chicken wire is made of light galvanized steel wire with hexagonal gaps. I'm sure that you can now tell the difference between the types of wire fences. I would like you to attempt the following questions. With reasons, identify the types of wire fences that can be most suitable for fencing the homestead. B. Constructing a grazing area for rabbits. C. Partitioning of pastures in paddocks. And D. Putting off of wild animals. We have already identified the wire fences W, X, Y, and Z. Let us now describe the fences briefly. We shall start with wire fence W. Can you identify this wire fence? The wire fence label W is a barbed wire fence. It is commonly used for peripheral fencing. It is made of four to five lines of barbed wire. The top wire should be placed about 1.8 meters above the ground and 40 to 50 centimeters from one strand to another. Droppers are placed at 25 centimeters interval. It is important to note that barbed wire fences are not recommended in sheep farming as the tears of fleas and causes injury to animals due to the presence of sharp barbs. The next wire fence is the woven wire fences. The woven wire fences are used to control poultry, rabbits, goats, and sheep in large farms. Woven wire fences are divided into chain link, that is fence X, and chicken wire, fence Z. During construction, they are buried about 20 to 30 centimeters deep to avoid lifting by human beings or animals. The next wire fence is the plain wire fence. It is made of regular gauge wire without barbs, preferably 
3.25 to 4 millimeters. This fence is majorly used for partitioning of paddocks. It is very suitable for sheep rearing as it does not destroy the quality of fleece. We have already discussed the types of wire fences. Let us now look at the other types of dead fences. Can you identify the fence displayed on the photograph? This is an electric fence. Electric fences are normally constructed as temporary fences within the farm to control grazing on high quality pastures, mainly where strip grazing is practiced. In forest reserves, electric fences are used to keep off large animals like buffaloes and elephants. The other type of dead fences is illustrated on the photographs D and E. Can you correctly identify the fences? The fences in photograph D and E are wooden fences. Fence E is made of offcuts, which are the outer part of wood after logs are cut. This is cheaper than timber fence. D is a timber fence. Timber is wood that is cut from logs with specific dimensions. Wooden fences are mostly used in areas where wood is cheaply available, although it is extremely rare to find wooden fences due to the heightened campaign on conservation of forests and trees. To make wooden fences last strong, seasoning is normally carried out. Wooden fences have the following disadvantages. Number one, they catch fire easily. Number two, they are susceptible to termites and fungal attack. And number three, they are less durable compared to other fences. Let's continue. Study fences J, K, L, and M carefully and identify them by name. These fences are wall fences. They are normally strong and long-lasting. The disadvantages of these fences is that they are expensive to construct. Let us identify the fences. Fence J is a concrete block fence. Fence K is a brick fence. Fence L is a quarry chip fence. And fence M is a stone fence. I advise you to do further reading on the areas we have discussed so that you can answer the questions 1, 2, 3, and 4 and garner additional information from the references above. I believe that you have learned. Please remember to drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos.